Evening, fellow zombies. It's 9.36 at night. And before heading out to bed, I thought I might get a few things off my chest. It is still Friday, the 26th of January, 2024. Hopefully I won't be sleep-deprived enough on this one anyway. A few things caught my attention. One of them is still a major thing happening for longest period of time over... How many years? The border still with the, with uh, Texas, still going ape at this point. But now we've got the state of Texas and the red states are all saying screw the Supreme Court of the United States for whatever real ruling and reason that they've made it to a point telling people that their ruling is supposed to be because we're supposed to be following this thing, and this is how it is in legal terms. They rule. That's it. Unless, of course, the ruling got changed and, and amended by another ruling for it, another court decision. But the problem is, if you've got the red states saying that we no longer follow the Supreme Court of the United States, even though most of it is conservative, about two or three of them of uh, the judges were appointed by the old gas bag himself. But there was a, a, a one-vote discrepancy of telling the state of Texas, pull up the damn razor wire in Eagle Pass. But they're not going to do it. They're going to put more and more razor wire along Texas. And there's going to be more armed guard, uh, actually more armed national troops. We're doing a political crap like we've never seen before. We are seeing other states saying, screw the federal government. Are we getting into a civil war now? Are we getting into a civil, civil war? Because if we had the states saying that because of the supremacy clause we have in the Constitution, they're saying that the states have absolute more power than the federal government does. I wouldn't be surprised if they started, uh, I'm thinking about this, but they're probably going to be doing it anyway. I wouldn't put it past these, these lunatics. I'm trying to do another secession. Splitting the Union apart and saying that the Supreme Court of the United States, the U.S. Constitution, and everything else that we hold dear we're going into again. We're going. To, are we going to be coming into armed conflicts with militia groups or, or, or state troopers versus the National Guard? I mean, they got their own state guards. And if a ruling comes down from the White House to say that we are nationalizing every damn trooper out there. Is it going to be obeyed or not obeyed? And are we going to be doing bloodshed at this point? We already have something called, I think, the Posse Comitatus that prevents the federal government from becoming law and order against the civilians. Posse Comitatus, as explained by the Brennan Center of Just for Justice. The law generally prevents the president from using the military as a domestic police force. The Posse Comitatus Act bars federal troops from participating in civilian, civilian law enforcement except when expressly authorized by law. This 143-year-old law embodies an American tradition that sees interference in civilian affairs as a threat to both democracy and personal liberty. However, recent events, according to when this thing was posted, and this was 
Let's see, I wonder what the hell this damn thing was posted. However, recent events, according to the article, had been revealed dangerous gaps in the law's coverage that Congress must address. And if I actually wanted to go for the more legal, I'm going to have to go to, not Wikipedia, I'm trying to go into the uh, Cornell Education area, the law, the Legal Information Institute. And this would be U.S. Code, Title 18, Part 1, Chapter 67, Section 1385. The use of Army, Navy, Marine Corps, Air Force, and Space Force as posse comitatus except when the cases and under circumstances expressly authorized by the Constitution or Act of Congress, yeah, right, willfully uses any part of the Army, Navy, Marine Corps, Air Force, Space Forces as a posse comitatus or otherwise to ex execute the laws shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than two years or both. I didn't write this. But this is in the U.S. Code. We cannot use law enforcement. We cannot use military as law enforcement to arrest the state officials because of this. Now, if the executive branch understands this, the horrible thing is Congress, especially the GOP, are pushing this. They don't want a border security. They want insanity. And they will blame the Democrats for it because that's what they do, despite the fact that they've got a slim majority in the House of Republicans. Uh, <laughs> House of Republicans, I was going to say. House of Representatives. House of the Republicans, actually. And the U.S. Senate has the uh, slim majority for, this, for the uh, Democrats at this point. Both of them understand that they cannot, well, actually the GOP doesn't give a shit anyway in, in the uh, Trump Lincoln's house. But in the Senate, they better understand that they cannot do what the president may or may not have to do use at this point over here. He's nationalizing every damn troop he's got to secure the borders one way or another. And this is highly illegal. And he knows that he'll be under scrutiny by the Supreme Court at this point, making that kind of ruling because of the laws that we have set. And this is going to be a challenge, not a challenge, it's going to be insanity at this point. Because we have the GOP in, the, in Texas and also in the other red states forcing this issue. They don't want border security, they want Trump in office so they can have things the way they were, whatever the hell they were. And still blame the Democrats or anybody else for that matter for the border problems, even though they have taken power and control of it. But they're going to blame others for their own stupidity at this point. Come elections, I'm hoping that when the general elections happen, people will realize that if our country goes into a civil war, the Republicans will blame the Democrats for their own actions. If it comes to a civil war, that is. Apparently, the Trumplican party, no longer the GOP, cannot follow the United States Supreme Court nor the U.S. Constitution. Now, regarding the supremacy clause in the Constitution... This is from the United States Constitution. This is Article 6, Clause 2, the overview of the Supremacy Clause. As quoted from the uh, Constitution, annotated from the Congress.gov. 
This Constitution and the laws of the United States which shall be made in pursuance thereof and all treaties made or shall be made under the authority of the United States shall be the supreme law of the land and the judges in every state shall be bound therefore anything in the Constitution or the laws of any state to the contrary notwithstanding. And what they explain in here long terms on this one. Supremacy Clause was a response to problems with the Articles of Confederation, which were quoted as the Articles, which governed the United States from, from 1781 to 1789. The Articles conspicuously lacked any similar provision declaring federal law to be superior to state law. As a result, during the Confederation era, Federal statutes did not bind state courts in the absence of state legislation implementing them. To address this issue and related political difficulties, the Confederation Congress called, forth, uh, called for a convention in 1787 to revise the Articles. While the Supremacy Clause was not a source of major disagreement at the con uh, Constitutional Convention that followed. It generated intense controversy during debates over the con uh, Constitution's ratification. But advocates of the federal supremacy prevailed. The Constitution was ratified in 1788 with the su uh, Supremacy Clause. Stating, well, some more, Basically, the Constitution is the law of the land. And it'll be the supreme law of the land. The judges in every state shall be bound there, thereby anything in the Constitution or laws of any state to the contrary notwithstanding. But the states are looking at this thing still saying that the federal government still doesn't have major authority or, over the states regarding federal issues concerning about borders, and borders are supposed to be the federal area, not the state. And Abbott and his assholes out there in the Trumplicate land are thinking that everybody comes across as a terrorist and they got to be treated as such and they're the enemy, even though there may be women and kids being killed at the same time. Doesn't matter. He's going to do it anyway. We are under scrutiny. United States. We are under scrutiny from everybody. And apparently the Trumplicants are saying, nope, nope, it's the Democrats all fault because they're the ones who can control. We got a Democrat in the, in the presidency, so it's all his fault. He's the one doing the border, but the problem is the laws have to come from Congress. And the GOP slash Trumplicants won't do it. They won't take responsibility or anything happening, they'll blame it on the Democrats because they do. They don't want to take responsibility for any damn thing. It almost came to the point where we came close to a shutdown. We had a partial shutdown. Almost. If there wasn't a deal made to keep the, the, keep the uh, country floating for another three more months and we have to go back over this again. Was it three more months or up until March? About two months. And the Republicans will be back at it again, bitching and griping about it, because they don't want it. They want to blame the Democrats and everybody else, but they don't want to take charge, even though they got the majority. They did the same damn shit when Trump took office for his first two years, and no laws were passed. We damn near got into, you know, got into a shutdown. But they blamed the Democrats anyway, even though they had a majority. For the first two years, they couldn't do damn anything. Try to pass laws, and they were arguing with each other left and right. So we are so screwed on this one. I don't know what the hell we're going to be doing at this point. I really don't. Okay, if that wasn't bad on, if that wasn't uh, a show topper right there, 
Shall we get down to the Penny Annie? Irritating mosquito bites. The independent media out there, as they call themselves, the so-called out there, keep picking on each other left and right for their news stories and their subscribers and their hits and their likes and their and their corporate money. Now, if they get money from corporations or businesses, then they're not they're just as bad as the corporate media. Case in point, you got some of these guys in the sidelined social media posts out there that are being torn apart left and right, not to mention being played out on YouTube like crazy, stating their own viewpoints about what the things that they see and coming across as not verifiable. So naturally, we got the independents on the YouTube kicking and screaming and belly aching about them and, and saying, see, 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 look at these guys. Aren't these guys so screwed up? We're better than that. Yeah. I'm looking at toddler brains and kindergarten fights in, in sandboxes all the time. One of which kind of got my attention, unfortunately. Sitting on the sidelines, as I probably had done in the elementary school era, I'd watched kids having conniption fits and fights and stuff happening. And I stayed out of it. But I tried to, and I don't know why the hell I got this elected in the first place, for my own class going outside and having breaks, I uh, was one of those quote-unquote safeties. Wearing a red sash, telling the students that, yeah, I'm looking out for your safety. And they did that because, I don't know why. Maybe because I still had a bad ticker and they wanted to keep it easy on me. So I didn't exercise as much. But I kept an eye on people. No, ha nothing happened, so no issues. But I get to see toddler brains screaming and yelling at each other, fighting a little bit in the sandboxes. They didn't have enough sand around. Had the sand being poured out of the damn boxes because they're pouring it out. And screaming and yelling at the other guy, where's my portion of the sand? Yeah, the portion of the sand is being blown away by the damn wind. Of course, you probably would have to uh, blame maintenance for not filling up the sand enough. But if they only got so much, what else are they going to do? Same thing I'm looking at Congress at this point over here. they got things they have to do, but they're not doing it. They're still fighting over grains of sand. Their own damn political head games. So I'm seeing the independent media doing the same shit. They're playing in the same same damn sandbox and they're playing the head games with each other. One of which was trying to say something, some things about science that I kept scratching my head. They're worried about magnetism. They're worried about Jupiter. They're worried about Saturn. They're worried about Earth. And they come up with these cockamamie theories I can't even verify in the science, on the science forums. They don't believe in the science forums. They believe in the dark web crap, whatever the hell that is. I'm like, shit, give me a break. I talk to scientists. I talk to political scientists. I talk to physical scientists. Talk to a volcanologist? An astronomer? I was going to college? Talk to people who had the doctorates and stuff that I didn't have. You learn stuff from them. Even history professors, they got their own doctorates. So I talk to them. I even talk to English professors who had, who have masters and bachelors and doctorates in their topics. Just to pick their brains. I, the older I got, the more appreciative I became of the learning, uh, of the learning cycle, we, I should have done a long time ago, and I wasn't mature enough at all for that damn stuff. Except I knew how to stick myself in a book and hide in it. If it was a good adventure or good escapism, I'd do that. 
back then I was an avid reader. But then again, I also had to read newspapers too, just to see what the hell was going on around me. These days, I'm seeing so much of the same damn crap, it's not even worth watching. Unless you happen to see a show that didn't get enough ratings to survive, and not even a damn Hollywood strike, just basically threw it in a damn box and buried it alive like the worm it was. But they still had some healthy ratings, but not enough to keep it alive. And a few other shows were like that, too. Got a sucks in this world. We focus more on the damn people screaming and yelling at each other in sandboxes, and I can't even watch my favorite show, scabbing another second or third season. I could deal with a second or third season ending it as long as you didn't have a cliffhanger hanging like crazy. I'd seen too many one-season shows out there doing it. It sucks. No resolution. You get involved with the characters after one or two shows, and maybe you get interested in them or not. you got to see the backstories after you see the backstories and front stories and what they're dealing with. it, And then you get to the point where you can't enjoy the show anymore. Because nobody else is watching the damn shit. They don't like it. You may like it. But it's like giving you the bird. Or the raspberry. Or the finger. So, how's that grab you? The major down to the minor. Oh yeah, people are making a big deal about Trump owing money to, a, to another lady that he insulted. Actually, to the same lady he insulted twice. I knew that was going to happen. He's already found guilty of the being big mouth. But everybody else is still trying to protect his ass one way or another. Conflating, inflating. Oh, God, what are they doing to each other these days? We try to look for logic, try to look for a reason, try to look for something. And all I'm saying is kindergarten all over the damn place. It's no wonder if we actually had any anybody watching us these days that see we're a bunch of hypocrites on this damn planet. We are. We can't get our stories together. We can't be truthful to each other. We can't be honest. But if we are honest, we say, I honestly hate your ass. Because of a lot of things and a lot of things over here. And I just don't like you. How do you like that? Smile to your face. All worse, just stick it in the face and be brutally honest. I don't like you because you're this or that. And I'm racist. Deal with that one. Well, yeah, we'll see about that one. And say like it's nothing, no big deal. I'm this, I'm racist. Deal with that one. I don't like anybody. I only really like my own people. That's about it. Yeah. So it's no wonder if we actually have anybody observing the planet Earth. And I already picked up our pieces of space junk we already sent out of the solar system already. We make these damn invitations a long time ago with the best of intentions so they actually see how the hell we are these days. Oh, God, the only thing I could tell them if they actually inter inter intercepted this particular message is leave, run. Don't even interfere with us. We are too immature and we're still fighting in sandboxes right now. We don't know how to be adults. We're killing ourselves over stupidity and mental health games. We've been doing that for about oh, 100,000, maybe 150,000 years. And we still can't get our act together. I don't think we ever will. I'll tell you the truth. Because every one of us has it inside of us. But we all have to have that choice of whether or not we're actually going to be that royal pain in the ass hypocrite or not. Yeah, good luck to us at this point over here. So that's my thing for tonight. And if I happen to see, if this happens to get into uh, the observance of artist in recovery, Artist, you have a good night. But if you've been watching some of the other shit instead of going to TMC all the damn time, maybe you'd have something, something to contribute. 
Because all I keep seeing these days is I don't, you know, I really give a rat's ass about the celebrities out there. I really don't. They're not affecting my life, except maybe if their shows get canceled, then I got a rat's ass on that one. If somebody else is having a drug problem out there, we got to make a big deal about the damn thing. I mean, we can talk about the drugs, how, we're, how it's affecting us. We can talk about that stuff. We can talk about how addiction is happening to us. We're saying it out in the open anyway, screwed in that anonymity at this point. But we all got our pet things, don't we? So that's what we go for, I guess. So that being said, I hope you have a good one tonight, because I'm hitting a sack. I'm posting this. <laughs>